Welcome to Creative Coloring with Iram. Today I will be using the Happy Pomegranates stamp set and alter new watercolor brush markers to make my card. First I'll stamp the images with clear embossing ink on watercolor cardstock. This is Aquafine by Della Rowney. Then I'll use antique gold embossing powder for embossing. Once I've heat embossed the images, I'll fussy cut the image and leave a bit of the area on uh, the image so that it's um, easier for me to hold it. And it's not necessary to fussy cut this before watercoloring. You can die cut the image later on too. I just wanted to do the step beforehand. Now I'll apply water onto the area and then apply ruby red color from the watercolor brush marker directly. I'll keep this more concentrated on one side of the uh, fruit where I want to show depth. I'll spread the color around and try my best to keep this one area a little lighter than the rest uh, to show a bit of um, a highlight. I'll leave you with some music. I'll list the colors on the screen. For my background, I decided to add a light color wash of evening gray um, watercolor and uh, for this I used the evening gray watercolor brush marker. I also colored in the white spaces on the fussy cut images uh, with the evening gray marker so that uh, they would match the background. Once the background was dry, I added fine black paint splatters from the 36 pan watercolor set to balance the black sentiment tab. For a bit of sparkle, I added a thin strip of gold glitter uh, tape uh, to my black sentiment tab. To add a bit of interest, I'll be adding 
two thin uh, strips of cardstock along the width of the card front and then I'll be adding foam tape to my sentiment tab and start arranging my images. This took me a while to do because um, I wasn't really happy with the look so I'll be cutting a lot of uh, uh, this process out. Just know that before adhering this on the card panel I placed another foam tape and then mounted the enti entire thing. Um, so there's the sentiment tab, foam tape, of the fussy cut elements, then another foam tape and then the card front. And then I mount the um, whole thing on the card base with more foam tape. And uh, that's all for today. I am uh, sharing two more cards on the blog featuring the same stamp set. Uh, so be sure to check them out. And uh, uh, well, that's it. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Bye.